Hi children Today we are going to learn about lesson number 6 length Today we are going to learn about non standard units of measuring length First one foot it is the unit of distance based on the length of actual feet one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen footsteps. Second one, span. Hand span is the distance from the tip of the thumb to the little finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and span. Third one, cubit. Cubit is the distance from the tip of the finger to the elbow. One, two, three cubit. Fourth one, fingers. It is the unit of distance equal to the width of four fingers closely pressed together 1 2 3 fingers fifth one pace it is the unit of distance based on the length of two feet 1 2 3 4 5 Five, six, seven, six. Sixth one, fathom. Fathom is the distance from between tip of one hand to tip of another hand when the hands are kept open and straight. One, two. Three fathom. Next, measure the length of your book and pencil box with fingers and hand span. Record in the following table. So, first one you can measure book with your fingers and hand span method. So, first in book. you can measure first using by fingers one two three so three fingers right here 3 next you can measure next measure the length of your book and pencil box with fingers and hand span record in the following table so first one you can measure book with your fingers and hand span method so first in book you can measure first using by fingers one 
वन टू थ्री सो थ्री फिंगर्स राइट इ थ्री next you can measure this book by using hand span see here one Two, three, four. So four hand span right here. Four. now you can measure this pencil box by using fingers and hand span method so first you can count in fingers one two so right here two fingers next You can use hand span and measure this box length. One, two. So two hand span, right here. Two hand span. Next, measure the length of table, desk, and blackboard. with your hand span and fingers and compare it so first one table so you can use fingers and measure the length of table so first i can use fingers and measure this length of table One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. So eighty fingers. Next, I can use hand span. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven hand span. Now write first table. You can use fingers and measure the length. Eighteen fingers and hand span is seven. Next, I can measure 
this test by using fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight fingers. So right here in desk, twenty eight fingers. Next and span. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and span. So right here, ten and span. Now using fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. So blackboard. Thirty fingers. So right here, which unit do you prepare fingers and and span? So first one, so finger is the eighteen. So right here, fingers. So 
so finger is the more number of length of table next next in desk 28 fingers next which unit do you prepare fingers and hand stamp so so which unit you can like to measure the length of table so which unit you can like so i write here hand span because hand span you can measure quickly that's why i like hand span next in desk i like fingers so you can measure easily to the fingers method next blackboard blackboard i can like hand span because you can measure the blackboard by using hand span it's very quickly measure the blackboard so i like hand span thank you children